Hey guys, so I didn't write this poem. This one is by Erin Anastasia and it's called An Open Letter to Megan Trainer. And this poem just really spoke to me, so that's why I'm going to be reading it today. And sorry I look like a bum. I'm still kind of sick and we had a snow day so I stayed in all day because no one wants to play in the snow because no one thinks it's fun to sled ride or have snowball fights nowadays. So you know what? I dove into the snow alone. And now, yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna shut up now. <laughs> Alright, so this poem actually just really spoke to me because I can kind of relate a lot. So here it goes. Dear Megan Trainer, I really want to like your new song. I really want to shake it, shake it, move and groove and booty bumble along, but there's just one small problem. I'm still waiting for my booty to arrive. You see, I ordered it in the sixth grade, thought that'd be plenty of time, but apparently the UPS guy lost my package somewhere along the line, so now I'm left quite bootyless with nothing to shake except this pathetic excuse for a behind. So as much as I'd really like to shake it, shake it like I'm supposed to do, I can't because unfortunately I'm still a size two and according to you that makes me a skinny bitch and I get it I understand what you're trying to do it's about time we attack the system we've got little girls going on diets and too many anorexia victims trust me it's twisted but please just listen I think you need to reposition your crosshairs you're firing shots at innocent girls how dare you fire shots at the innocent girl who lacks certain familiar privileges like finding clothes in her size or finding a boy who wants to hold her abnormal body at night be and eating in peace because, yes, she's going to finish those fries. She doesn't look this way by choice. She never looked this way by choice. No, she'd much rather look like the body in the magazine. You know that celebrity who's really skinny with a really nice ass? Dear Megan Trainer, you're not as progressive as you think you are. From booty got back to shake that to thong to thong to thong to honky bonk to donk donk. We no, we're no shortage of ass shaking songs. We've been telling girls to shake their money maker like somebody's about to pay you since 2009. Then the bubble butts and we had the twerking. It's always been about the behind. And now we've got you telling girls that every inch of them is perfect from the bottom to the top. Only if their bottoms are big enough for the boys to chase. You're perpetuating the same type of hate you're trying. So please stop. Dear Megan Trainer, there are girls who are overweight that deserve to love their bodies. There are girls who are underweight that deserve to love their bodies. Do not call them skinny bitches. Do not call them stick figures. Do not expect them to swallow your insults and take one for the team when you're fully capable of making a song that isn't riddled with contradiction. Dear Megan Trainer, by pitting girls against girls, all you've done is create new bullies. All you've done is create new victims.